Hello everyone and welcome to another Nate's Numismatics. I'm your host Nate and today we're going to be looking at how to avoid cleaned coins. Now everyone loves a bright shiny coin, right? You love the way they, they look, the way they uh, the way they reflect light, the way that they're bright and shiny. And sometimes uh, people, oftentimes newer collectors, will see a dirty coin and they'll be, and they'll um, think, oh hey, I bet I can make this look better by, uh, by shining it up, by, by uh, scrubbing, scrubbing it and getting that, that gunk off. Now this is something that you never want to do. Uh, most, most people, um, Probably don't need to hear this, but you never want to clean your coins. Cleaning coins uh, damages them and makes them oftentimes look exceptionally ugly. And I have here an example of that. This is a 1942 proof mercury dime. And let's see if I can get this in here real quick. You can see here the reverse is very shiny. It's very bright, and when and you can see it's 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 incredibly reflective. The obverse, though, the front side, uh, I can't say the same about it. It's got um several. There we go scratches across the face and let's see here there you go you can see them really well there uh, those scratches are from someone who uh, whether knowingly or not um, scrubbed the front side of the coin and I left several um, scratches all over it um, you can see some in the face and on the fields and an otherwise nice coin was uh, was ruined by that and you can see there that the the front is a lot less appealing than the back so what I'm going to try to do today is uh, teach you guys how to avoid cleaned coins um, let's start here with this uh, dragon dollar and you can see here it's, it's pretty shiny and um, it looks nice except for the back and you can see here that as you try to um, get a cartwheel across it a true uncirculated coin uh, will usually have a nice cartwheel effect and you can see here that this coin does not have that there are scratches all over the the surfaces that are uh, distracting and break up the the um, light swirl and just so you can see what I mean by cartwheel oh, here we go that is the cartwheel that you want um, from an uncirculated coin and it just means that the uh, surfaces are nice and original. And you can see here that even though the uh, the face and fields are a little bit chattery, they don't um, they don't prevent the uh, the light from swirling across the entire surface. Now, maybe you don't have a. Uh, an uncirculated coin and this is what we have here this is a 1961 Irish half crown this is actually a mule it has the uh, the reverse of 1928 to 1937 and it's just a really uh, interesting coin and you can see here that there is some uh, what I call haloing around the devices and the devices are just anything in the fields of the coin. 
and we'll flip this over and there you go you can see it pretty well right there you can see that there's a little um well a halo really is the best way to explain it around all the uh the objects in the field and that is a tell of cleaned coins because oftentimes the um the scrubbing won't get um right up close to those uh those devices and that can um that can keep the the coin from uh being damaged in those places but you you could see there it didn't stop the uh the rest of the fields from being um well cleaned here's another one this is a uh it looks au to me um say Maria Teresa Toller. This is one I showed off in my first video. This is a uh, an 1817 to 1866 strike. And right there, yeah, you can see it already. There's little hairlines all all across the uh, the fields. And it's it's a shame because this would otherwise be a very very nice coin. But um, it was cleaned at some point, and you can see it really harshly right here. So clean coins will have hairlines, that's what you call them. And um, it, it's just metal that's been stripped from the coins, really is what it is. Um, but hairlines should not be confused with dye polish. And dye polish is um, just what it sounds like. It's it's uh, when a coin is being struck, the dyes will often be polished um, in between a certain number of strikes, and sometimes it'll scratch the the dye up a little bit. And you can see that right here. Um, in all of these parallel lines that um, that don't go over the devices. They stay only in the fields. And that's because um, when you're when you're polishing the die, the devices are in cuse on the die. And so whatever you use to polish them uh, doesn't hit the devices and the lines go through, the devices and continue on the other side. Um, so that, that's just something that you can look for, uh, die polish. And that it, that isn't cleaning. You can see that the uh, lines are, or at least I hope you can see, um, at least in hand, you can see that they are actually raised from the surface, so it, it hasn't been um, they haven't been removed from the coin by cleaning. And let's get this back in here. That's pretty much it um, for today. You can see here real quick, I've got a uh, an actual uncirculated taller. Just so you can see that the uh, the swirling isn't um, uniform across all coins. It'll look different sometimes. Um, this this looks very different from a uh, from a Morgan dollar, obviously. Um, mostly because of the closed collar and the uh, very uniform nature of the uh, the dollar, as opposed to. The 1780 taller. Yeah, there you go. You can see it swirls uh, pretty nicely. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you can you can uh, keep an eye out for those sort of those sort of tells the the small scratches um, in the devices or not devices, fields, and 
oftentimes they will actually go over the devices as well. Like you can see there with this proof dime. And that's it for today. Um, clean coins are generally less desirable than their, uh, their true uncirculated counterparts. Um, and I say generally, they, they always are. Um, clean coins are worth substantially less than a, uh, an uncirculated piece might with, with some uh, less desirable color or toning or gunk. Because gunk can always be removed um, without scraping the coin up. All right, that's it for today. Um, just keep an eye out on your coins that you're planning on buying and look for cleaning and make sure that um, that you do know if you are buying a clean coin. Uh, that's it for today. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.